Today I'm going to build a uh, monster putt-putt boat motor. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, out of just some common household junk, uh, I'm going to start out with an old uh, uh, shoe polish can. So um, that's going to be my boiler. I've, uh, this one has actually been in a fire, so uh, you have to remove the paint, get the rest of the shoe polish out of it. And then I got two old pieces of copper tubing, which I hacksawed out of an air conditioner. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to try to epoxy one in place, and uh, the other I might try to solder. So we'll see where it goes from there. But my plan is to do something like attach them underneath here like this. Give me some room for the fire. Anyway, that's, that's kind of the plan. We'll see how it goes. And here's a progress report. So far, this is what I've got. I've shined up the ends on these. And I've stripped the stuff off of here. What my plan is to put the tubes right through here and here where I've scrubbed off the stuff. And all I did it with was one of these pot scrubbers and a, what do you call it, dish cleaning sponge thing. So, so far everything has been ordinary household stuff. And okay, so next I'm going to try to drill some holes in here, fit this in here like that. And like I said, I think I'll try to solder one and epoxy the other one. So anyway, onward. And another update, I start out with an ice pick and punch the hole in here like this. And I start out with an ordinary pair of pliers and start working in the hole until this thing just fits in there. So that's one side. And there's the other. So, anyway, working out nicely so far. I'll go back, enlarge this hole, put in the other tube and solder and uh, solder one side and uh, epoxy the other side. Okay, one tube has been soldered in place. I soldered it on the inside. You can see I used a mountain of solder in there. But uh, it seems to have sealed all the way around here. Now the next step is I'm going to put this in here like that. Get them aligned so it's nice and flat. Put epoxy around there and see which one works better. Okay, that's the update. Okay, the epoxy is solid enough to touch to move this around. It's not yet hard enough to actually do anything with. But you can see, I put a little epoxy on here. I assume it's going to burn off right away when I heat it up. But uh, most of the epoxy is inside. And that's pretty much it. I will place the cap on here like this. I think I'm going to call it the Enterprise. I don't know why, but uh, that name just seems to, uh, to fit. Now this is the first test of it. The boat is really badly designed. The ends of the tubes don't want to stay underwater, but when I hold them underwater, it uh, you can really feel it pulsing. If the boat were better designed, it just might run. You can see the waves in the water. There's, there goes one pole.
Yes, he's trying to run. Well, one part of the experiment is shown. The, uh, the thing boiled dry, you can see the solder starting to melt up here. And the leg with the, um, uh, what do you call it, epoxy, failed. So anyway, it stopped working. Uh, it was working there for a while, but anyway, this means I have to build another one, version two. This one had, uh, turns out it had a lot of rust leaks on it. There are a lot of pinholes in it from rust, and I uh, soldered those, still very warm, uh, soldered those closed, but there were a lot more, and I ended up using epoxy on it, and the epoxy melted away and whatever. So anyway, I have to make version two. I've got a couple of theories on why it's not working properly. One of them is that you can see that this was all up inside the boiler, and because it's up inside the boiler like this, water if it if it inhales too much water it can't blow the water back out it has to wait till the water boils away as steam which is going to take a long time so it uh, also the really big tubes allow it to inhale a lot of water it sucks water up in here too much water water doesn't boil fast enough and just uh, sits in there and basically it floods so i think that's one issue uh, construction note make the tube as short as possible and make sure there's a way for the for the uh, water to get out, uh, maybe drill a hole in the side or something, or cut these way down. I'm not sure about strength. And uh, maybe with a tube this big, I only need one tube. Also, I think the boiler was too big. Uh, when it did suck in a lot of water, it would take a very long time to reheat. So, um, uh, also, I believe that the angle of the uh, angle allows more and less water to get sucked in. In the boat, it was sitting kind of nose down it was working better uh, I'm not quite sure why but uh, anyway the, just some ideas about uh, new construction next time I'm going to make a smaller boiler uh, maybe smaller tubes and uh, much shorter on the inside of the boiler okay that's it for this experiment